farmers feel the effect of climate change intimately. And there's this conundrum. They need to, right now, provide people with food to eat, but also then protect the land for future crops. National correspondent Lauren Magarino met a scientist with a possible solution for her series, Farming America. If there was an award for best plant parent, Lee DeHaan would win gold. So this is pretty clean seed already. These seeds are the result of more than 20 years of devotion to a dream. I grew up in a farm in Minnesota and um, I heard about the idea of perennial crops when I was still a kid and wanted to develop a perennial grain crop. Never imagined it might be kind of the first one that people would be uh, growing and using. For those who didn't learn what a perennial grain crop is as a kid, it's like the grass you see on the side of a road that comes back year after year, except it's capable of growing food humans can eat. It's a type of crop the world desperately needs. The agriculture industry faces an immense challenge. On one hand, it needs to feed a growing population, but the process of feeding a growing population tends to take an environmental toll on our planet, something that no one wants. So scientists are really having to use new technology and innovation to come up with solutions to both issues. If you take a look around me, this is Kernza, a potential solution for both issues. This is a solution that allows us to, to eat and it allows us to protect the soil, um, keep our water clean, provide habitat for wildlife. Kernza is essentially a cousin of wheat. It tastes sweet and nutty. So far, its grain is used to make baked products and beer. Kind of spicy. I really like this one. In Skagit Valley, Washington, Cascadian Farm, owned by General Mills, is set to make a cereal using Kernza. After 20 years of breeding. But Kernza wasn't born this way. DeHaan and his team at the Land Institute in Kansas selectively bred it. Every plant gets labeled and identified and uh, a couple months ago I took a small piece of leaf off of here and then we do essentially 23 and me for plants. This process helps predict how each plant will perform, how tall it'll be, how much seed it'll grow, how large its seed will be. Yeah, so this is honest. really a breeding ground. This is right, exactly. Plants have to possess certain traits that make farmers' lives easier, like a crop's ability to hold on to its seed rather than dropping them to the ground. Only 100 plants of the batch we saw made the cut. Those get to live on to the next generation. These ones, it's the, the end of their genetic life here. There is one trait that comes naturally. It's amazing to see the how vigorous the roots are. Kernza's root system. Are you serious? Is this? So this is life size. Yeah. So wheat is on the left. Oh. Kernza's roots on the right left me speechless. I'm shocked. <laughs> this is what makes Kernza environmentally sustainable. Wherever humans have gone and done agriculture, uh, we've seen massive loss of soil carbon and soil quality. And that carbon is now in the atmosphere and, and part of the solution to climate change is to get that, that carbon back in the soil. Kernza's roots store carbon in the ground and help prevent soil erosion and water runoff. Unlike annual grain crops like wheat, oats, and corn, Kernza, a perennial crop, doesn't need to be tilled or replanted every year. It is an elegant solution that dresses a lot of things at once. The, the difficulty is just how much time is required. Dehan says it'll take decades to transform the developing crop from a specialty crop to a large-scale one. But for the plant parent whose devotion has sustained over 20 years, it's a dream DeHaan plans to see through. Lauren Magarino, Salina, Kansas, News.